18 year old from Santa Venera, a town in the central region of Malta. Over the years, we have not seen too much from Malta as a country on the international scene, but this so far is very impressive. Back handspring to back pike to two feet and tries her very best to save the jump full. A skill that looks simple and is actually very complicated and very complicated to save if it doesn't go right. However, some of the more spectacular difficulty, like the side saw me, is going right. But that's the nature of balance beam, isn't it? Sometimes problems crop up where you don't necessarily expect them to be. It's also the nature of a massive European championship in a huge arena. But you're quite right, Blythe, to identify what is very impressive about Ella Borg's work on the balance beam. There's a lot there to feel very encouraged about. And just like you said, you can do a routine like this a million times in your gym, and then you bring it into a huge arena where your visual cues are different, the space is very different. There is a sense, and it's deliberate, you know, that you're up there and all eyes are on you, and that can do things to a gymnast, particularly one without a whole lot of international experience. One hopes that we'll start to see a lot more of the Maltese team, including Ella Borg, out there in international competition. The more experience they get, the more these kind of opportunities will start to feel normal, start to feel routine, start to feel like something they just take in their stride. She and her teammate Tara Vela Clark have spoken about just how much they want to put Malta on the map gymnastically, sportingly, in uh, all forms. And the score is 9.5 for Ella Borg.